Hey, what's up guys? Nixby one hd here and welcome back to another episode of my F2 22 career mode with Felipe Drogovic. And in today's episode, we have got the British Grand Prix around Silverstone. So, before we get into qualifying, make sure you drop a like on the video if you are enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe for more and plenty more Formula 1 content to come your way on the channel. So, without further ado, let's get into qualifying. Right, well here we are then, in the garage, ready to go out on track. We're not going to do anything with the car set up this weekend, but it is a very wet qualifying, so we're going on the full wet tyres. So, let's see what we can do. Here we go. Roll on the power. go very good come on here we go So we've got five laps in the sprint race, seven laps in the feature race. So through Cops Corner we go. Oh my, what is that? Oh my gosh, that was awful. Come on. But yeah, thoroughly enjoying the F2 career mode. Really, really good, really really am enjoying it okay come on come on, come on. really trying to tap the curbs no I'm not quite oh I think this is going to be another qualifying session where we are going to be starting at the back of the grid go but yeah honestly if you've never driven the f2 cars i would recommend it they are very good fun round we go okay ah uh, p22 gonna be a bit of a last question mark challenge <laughs> in this career in this episode guys tomorrow but before we go let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three which are do it poor chair amory cordial the grid is set then so that just leaves the race itself join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action and until then goodbye so jack Dewan starting on pole uh terry poor chair in second amiri cordell Cord cordial in third and our teammate Clement Novelak in P20 and we qualified in last place. Hopefully we can do a bit better in the sprint race and the feature race. Let's get into the sprint race here around Silverstone. It's Sunday and that means it's race time here at Silverstone. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of the race. The 3.6 miles of Silverstone circuit in Great Britain should be familiar to fans and drivers alike. Built on the site of a World War II airbase, the track features 18 corners and some good opportunities to overtake at the end of two DRS zones, located on the Wellington and Hanger Straits. Joining me today in the commentary box is 2012 GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. We all know the circuit so well, Davide. What's got your attention today? Always a pleasure, Alex. Everyone looks forward to Silverstone Air, which is such an intriguing grid. I think the fans will be excited for the start of today's race. 
We know these young drivers are hungry to prove themselves. Hopefully, we'll be seeing some more history being made today. Right, well, here we are then, on the grid, ready for the the sprint race here in Silver here in Silverstone. So let's just get into it. Waiting on the five red lights. And it is going to be lights out and away we go. And I'll tell you what, it's not a bad reaction time off the line. Oh, Going to absolutely just go for it. Well, we're going to have to go for it. Oh. Come on. Don't know if there was contact. But yeah, what a great start for us. Past Cordial, beautiful little over. It would have been a beautiful overtake until that point. <laughs> All right, let's give that another go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All over the back of Young Tail Poor Chair. Hamilton Verstappen from 2021. We got the move done. Poor chair's still there. Okay. I don't know if we did make contact with with. Uh, No, we didn't. But honestly, what a great start to the race this has been for us. Now, gaining, 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 starting to... Sorry, Brown. That was uh, running horribly wide. We're going to absolutely just, absolutely just send it on Marcus Armstrong. And we're up to P7. Wow. Chen Bollock Bassi with the fastest lap of the race. Can we close up to Callum Williams in his trident? As we have got Iwasa and I don't know who that is, but uh, we're going to absolutely just go for it on Callum Williams and we do get the move done. Good job. Nice so we got Iwasa and then it's Fittipaldi. Okay. Try and go round the out. Try and go round the outside of Fitter, not Fittipaldi. Iwasa can quite get the move done. Come on! Surely this time we're going to get a good run on the Japanese driver. No. <laughs> thought about it. I genuinely did think about it there. Okay. A little bit on the grass. Oh. Maybe try and go for a similar move to what we did on Marcus on Strong. Give Iwasa the space, and we do get the move done. Okay, round we go. Okay, up the inside of Fittipaldi. No, I thought about it, but yeah. Probably wasn't the best idea. Ooh. Very wide there. Let's 
see if we can close up to our fellow Brazilian Enzo Fittipaldi. Come on. Trying to go round the outside. Surely we've got the move done. Side by side with our fellow Brazilian. Up through Cops Corner we go. And we do complete the move. Honestly, best start to the race. Right, up next, Fre Frederick Ves Fred Vesti. Let's see if we can close up to him. See, he's looking for a move on, on Dennis Hauger. Of course, Formula 3 champion. I mean, three wide, three wide through stone. Never going to work there. Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm... Big apologies there to Dennis Halga. I was not intending... Did we make contact with him? Let's see. No, we didn't. It was close, though. Thankfully, the Norwegian did back out of it. As um, Frederick Vesti wasn't going to back out of it. Oh my gosh. Right, let's give that another go, shall we? Oh, Vesti locks up. Thought about thought about a move there. Yeah, I know Mark. Big send, please hold it. No, no, we haven't. Okay. Brown Brooklyn as we go. Try to go brown round the outside of Frederick Vesti. Thought about it, but no, not quite. Ooh, tiny bit of contact between myself and the ART car. Oh. Okay, we're up to P2 now of the race. P2 now of the race. Can we close up to the Turkish driver of Cem Bolot? Bullet Bassi. Okay. I mean, if we can get P2, that would be incredible. Okay, final lap. The final lap of the of the sprint race here in Silverstone. Okay, here we go. Come on. Very wide there, that is not good. I think, I think, I think, I think Bolabasi is going to be taking home the race victory in the sprint race, but we've got to be proud. We have got to be proud. I mean, from last on the grid to P2, I will absolutely take that. Absolutely. Come on.
Round we go. Okay, round the final. Here we go. Round. Here we go. Down the Hamilton straight, and we do take home P2. Oh, wow. Wasn't quite a race victory, but from last on the grid to P2, we have got to be proud of that. This round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a good result for Felipe Dragovic, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Let's give it to Felipe Drugovic. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. On to the teams then. MP Motorsport moves to the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from ART this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So, there we are then. The end of the sprint race here in Silverstone. And it's Chen Bolabassi that does take home the race victory and the fastest lap of the race. We finish P2 from last on the grid to second. We've got to be proud of that. Dennis Halger in third. Frederick Vesti fourth. Enzo Fittipaldi fifth. Uh, Iwasa in sixth. Uh, Callum Williams in 7th and Marcus Armstrong in 8th place rounding out the points finishers. So let's get into the feature race here at Silverstone. Welcome back to the second race of the day and the second race of the weekend. After this morning's race we are all looking forward to a championship battle that looks to be hotly contested. The teams are preparing below and we are almost ready to start. We are nearly ready for the start of today's race, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the grid. A fantastic effort from Jack Dewan yesterday puts him on pole position. Teo Porcher starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Cordial, Williams, Marcus Armstrong, Owasa, Fittipaldi, Vesti, Bullock Passi, Dennis Hauger, Hughes, Darubala, Ollie Caldwell, and Boschong, Lawson, Phipps. Shaw and Marino Sato. Nissan, Novelak, Sargent, and Felipe Dragovic completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Right, here we are. Back up, back down on the grid at Silverstone, starting P2. Uh, yeah, we had a great result in the sprint race. Hopefully we can continue that for the feature race today. Waiting on the five red lights. Let's see if we can get a good reaction time once again. And it is going to be lights out and away we go. Okay. Not as not as good as the first one. Well, okay, right. Let's. Oh, a little 
Void! Oh my gosh. Ooh, give me some. Clement, come on. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Don't know if we made contact. I think we did. We have got a warning. Okay. We are. Re I know we are being super aggressive off the race start, but we have to be. We just have to be if we want to get finishing the points. I don't know if Novelak picked up damage, but as we've got four cars battling it up ahead. Okay, let's see what we can do. Can we get a good run on Dennis Halga? It's going to give me a big old squeeze. And already up to up to P10. Can we get a good run on Chen Bolotbasi, who of course took home the victory in the sprint race yesterday. We do just about. Okay. Right. Can we get a good run on Iwasa now? Gaining, gaining, gaining on the Japanese driver. He goes a little bit wide there. Oh, can we have a look past Frederick Besti? Going to give him the space on the exit of the corner. And we have got the move done. Yes, we have. Two, 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 two overtakes in one go. We will happily take that. Man, honestly, if you guys have never driven the F2 cars, I would recommend it. It is such good fun. I, Yeah, honestly, I love driving the F2 cars. I really, really do. But we just got to get our head down, concentrate, and see if we can close up to, to Fittipaldi. Okay... seven laps in the feature race go for a move oh my gosh that was a big big send on Fittipaldi there and we take home the and we've got the fastest lap of the race come on okay up next Marcus Armstrong let's see if we can close up to him round we go come on another podium M maybe get Maybe get a maybe get a win, maybe I don't know. But we just got to get past one if one car at a time, one car at a time. Okay. Come on. On, go, go, go. Round we go. Gaining, gaining, gaining on Marcus Armstrong. Come on. We got DRS, but so is he. Have a look 
round the outside, not quite. Okay, all over the back of Marcus Armstrong. Oh dear, I I am so sorry, Williams. Oh god, no. Come on. Break, break. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Up next, Callum Williams. Let's see if we can close up to him. Another fastest lap. Brilliant. Cool. Okay. Gaining, gaining, gaining. On Williams. Down the inside. No. No. No, no, no. Oh, man. I thought about it. I thought about it, but I... Th Okay, we are not, we are not, we are not going to go for a move here. Come on, come on. Williams has got DRS, but so are we. Down the hangar straight we go. Up through Brooklands we go. Try and go for a move round the outside. Right, all over the back of... Cordial. Gaining, gaining, gaining on the young Belgium driver. Come on. Come on. He's going to have no DRS to defend himself with. This should be a pretty simple overtake. Come on. Come on. Hold, hold position. Yes, we've done it. Well, we got Jack Doohan in P2 and then Teo Borcher in the lead of the British Grand Prix. Give up. Oh, a little bit all over the curbing there, not ideal. Cordial is going to come back at us though. Side by side with the Belgian. to lap five of the sprint race guys round go oh gosh that was not a very good corner maggots and beckett's down the hangar straight we go race here in Silverstone. So our web warning light has come on. What's our tire wear saying? 62%, okay. Bring the 
break buyers down a bit to 52%. get to the end. Okay, here we go. Round the final corner, here we go, the final lap of the British Grand Prix. Jack doing in Teoport chair can battle, that would be really, really good for us. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 don't do this to me, no, oh god, no, no, please, no. Okay, it's not. Come on. No. Come on. No. Where do we finish? P4. No. We just missed out on the podium. We just got the car over the line. P4 will take it with a puncher. Oh my gosh.
time now. Let's take a look at the driver's stand. It's a good result for Felipe Dragovic, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I say Felipe Drugovic. He was committed the entire race, and it's paid off with the result. And now a look at the team standards. MP Motorsport moved further clear at the top. Another team that will be satisfied with this race is Charousse, whose good result moves them further up in the championship. That's the end of today's race. Thank you for joining us, and I'm sure you'll agree it was a great race and sets us up nicely for the next installment in a few weeks' time. Take care. From Davide and I, it's goodbye. I cannot believe we missed out on a podium. We're, but, you know, we'll take fourth. We will take fourth place. And, and we've got the fastest lap as well. So we finished in the points, Good, which isn't too bad. But I would have loved to get another podium. But it is Jack Dewan that walks away with the race victory here at Silverstone in the fe feature race. Teo Porcher in P2. We just missed out on P3. Cleanne Williams just getting us right on the line there. But we did come, but we did hold on for fourth place. Marcus Armstrong in fifth, Enzo Fittipaldi in sixth, uh, uh, Amiri Cordell in seventh, Awasa in eighth, Fred Frederick Vesti in ninth, and Chem Bollett Bassi in a, in rounding out the rounding out the top ten. Dennis Halger eleventh, Ralph Boschon twelfth, Jake Hughes thirteenth. Uh, sorry, Ralph Boschon twelfth, Gian De Rubella thirteenth, Jake Hughes fourteenth. Richard Vashaw, 15th, Yuri Vip 16th, Liam Lawson, 17th, Marina Sato, 18th, uh, Logan Sargent, 19th, uh, Roy Nassani in 21st, and Oli, uh, Roy Nassani, uh, Logan Sargent in 19th, Roy Nassani in 20th, Oli Caldwell in 21st, and Clement Novelak, our teammate, finishing in last place. So, championship-wise, we extend our lead in the championship. Jack Doohan, only 39 points. Behind us in the Drivers' Championship. Yuri Vip, he goes up to second. Yuri Vip drops down to third. Cleanne Williams up to seventh. Iwasa drops down to eighth. Amiri Cordell up to ninth. Richard Vashaw drops down to tenth. Enzo Fittipaldi up to eleventh. With Marina Sato and Gian Deruvela and Logan Sargent in twelfth, thirteenth and fourteenth respectively. Chen Bolotbassi in fifteenth. Liam Lawson down in sixteenth. Dennis Halger. Up to 17th, Clement Novelak goes down to 18th, Jake Hughes in 19th, Oli Caldwell in 20th, and it's um, Ralph Boschon and Roy Nassani still yet to score points this season. But we do extend our lead in the championship, but High Tech GP not too, only six points behind us. So it's going to be a close fight between us and High Tech GP, that's for sure. But um, Virtuosi go up to third, ART drop down to fourth. Um, Sheru go up to 6th, uh, Van Armsfoot Racing go up to 7th, and Prima go up to 8th, and um, uh, and Carlin in 9th, Dams in 10th, and Cambos Racing in last place in 16th place. But that is going to be the end of this episode. What a crazy, crazy, crazy race that was. But uh, re re absolutely gutted we couldn't, we couldn't get a podium. But we did get a podium in the sprint race. Let's not forget that we did get second place in the sprint race but from last to fourth in the feature race i would absolutely i will absolutely take that but yeah on to the next race uh uh in the next episode which i believe is austria i want to say i think it's the austrian grand prix in spielberg but yeah that will be in the next episode hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you guys have make sure you drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe for more and I will see you guys for some more Formula 1 content very soon.